So today is our last day in Bath and we're not actually going to be spending a lot of time in Bath. We're going to be spending most of it in Bristol and I can't really explain why but we're going to Bristol. But first, we need to get some breakfast. So I have made it to Bristol and the drizzle gods have descended so I need to try and find somewhere that sells an umbrella. Um, so usually with city train stations they are slap bang in the middle of the city and you get off and you're like ooh the city. Um, not so with Bristol because so far it's, I'm in the middle of a road like this is where I am. Like that's, that's all there is as far as the eye can see so I need to try and find where the actual city centre is. I think it's up that way somewhere, based on maps that I've seen so far, but frankly, Lord knows. Although there's a pretty church, so that's, that's something that I found so far. It took me a while, but I finally managed to find Old Town, which is the, well, Old City, which is the more sort of beautiful area than the A Road that I was stuck on for a grand total of 40 minutes trying to find where the actual city is. Now though, we're going to check out some of the sites, and I've got a map to help me. So according to this fella, we're here. And if we carry on going up, sooner or later we'll crash into this sort of Leviathan shopping centre. Now, it doesn't state if it's like an architecturally interesting building or if it's one of those monstrosities from the 60s to 80s. And I can't see any other way of finding out other than to just, well, find out. Well, here it is. And if you put your money on not an ugly monstrosity, then... Well, it's not looking good, is it? Let's face it. Do you know what? I might actually have to eat my words. This is actually is pretty nice inside. So I am in what I suspect to be the literal centre of Bristol at the minute and I am literally surrounded by a sprawling urban metropolis. It's a really impressive place which again raises the question, why in the name of the Christ is the train station in the middle of friggin' no? I really don't get that, it's really annoying me. So I love checking out new cities as much as the next person but there is another very me reason why I have come to Bristol today and I think I'm a couple of minutes away from being able to find one. Okay, so turns out I'm actually going to have to travel a little further afield to find exactly what it is I'm looking for. So we'll get back to that a little later on. Right now, we're going to carry on having a look around the place because this 
Part of the problem with living in places like Aberdeen and Edinburgh and then visiting Bath is that it all has very similar architecture, so seeing anything that's new and modern and kind of epic in scale, it's, I don't know, it, it seems new to me again, it's, it's really cool. I'm in the King Street Brewery at the minute, having a pint of bitter as a northern man is wont to do. <laughs> but, I want to take this opportunity to quickly talk about that thing that I was going to Bristol specifically to get. And it's... Oh, I'm probably not picking them up. It's, it's, it's these. I, I had them in a nice fan, and I was going to show you to them in a nice sprayed out way. But, oh, this is not working at all. Right, so basically, I'll just get the one for now. But basically, um, it's this. It's called... They're called Bristol Pound, and it is a local form of currency. The idea being that it is money that you can only spend in Bristol, so it circulates amongst specific Bristol businesses. Um, the idea being to try and keep independent shops alive and competing with the big boys. Um, there's this whole thing in here about, especially this sort of like lefty spiel about, oh, fuck the banks and all that lot. Um, I've known about this for a few years and even more surprisingly, it's not that uncommon. Scotland has its own money, obviously, and Ireland has their own notes as well. But Bristol has its own currency for use in the city. I'll, I'll show you the 10 now as well. Um, it's also got artwork by local Bristol people. I'm, I'm assuming they're from Bristol, I don't actually know. Um, but also, unlike a lot of currency, these have expiry dates on them, so they have about a year left, and then I think they circulate a new series. Presumably the idea is to try and stop forgeries or something, but I just thought this was a really cool thing that this city does. And it's not just here that does it, there are other places like, I think Lewes has it, and I think Coventry used to do it, but they don't do it anymore. Um, I'm just really happy I finally got my hands on some, because, like I say, I've known about this for a while, and I've been fascinated by it. I, I did warn you that this is a very me thing to talk about, but um, I might do a video on regional currency, because it's, it's a fascinating subset of sterling. Um, so, I don't know, if you would be interested in that, maybe thumb up the video. There we go, I don't usually do that, but if you're interested... Also, they're all the same size. 